Hi, my name is Rachel Geary and I oversee the LEAF Learning About Forest programme which is an international environmental education programme and we also oversee Unquil Bjog which is an initiative of LEAF Ireland. Unquil Bjog is Irish for Little Woodlands and this is where we go into schools or communities and we plant little woodlands, small dense native woodlands and we involve the students or community groups at every stage along the way. My name is Mo Connor, and I'm a secondary school teacher in Presentation Secondary School here in Tralee. So the idea of the project is that we'd have an area of natural space and woodland for the students to enjoy and for the teachers to use as part of the curriculum within the school. Unquil Bjog is an outdoor living classroom. So when we engage with the schools, we get the students involved in every step of the process. So they come out and they get their hands dirty, they do soil tests, they look at the different species that already are on the site. And one of our main goals is to get students interested in outdoors and learning about the outdoors. We are delighted to welcome On Chil Vyog here. This is an initiative developed by the LEAF project to bring trees, everything to do with forests on campus. So here they're setting up a native woodland, which as you can see in the background, our students are planning and plotting at the moment. This is student-led, whereby the students would be planting trees, monitoring the trees, learning all about the trees. And it's, it's a long-term project. So over the years, different students will be participating. And we are hoping that those student teachers will go out to schools in the future and they will start similar initiatives in primary schools around the country. I'm a class teacher in the Limerick Educate Together School and the way I use the Quill Bjog is we bring the children regularly out. It could be nearly a daily experience where we find that the more you bring them out, the more they want to be here. So we would use it to teach science. It's a place of meditation. It's a place that we bring them out, you know, for sing songs. We have, we're lucky enough to have a pizza oven, so um, kind of used for end of year celebrations. There's so many different ways we use it, but you know, it can also be a place, just a, f a place for freedom, like they can run free and they've built dens here. You know, they've picked out their favorite trees. So it's just a space that they have really grown to love around the school. I guess the biggest benefit is it's lovely for our children in the school who predominantly are living in the city centre. A lot of them wouldn't have exposure to forests and they get a real chance to be loose, free, run around and experience the nature around them and the different trees and we do lots of different activities with it. We won't be here forever, the teachers won't be here forever um, and the children need to pass on that the love of the forest to each other. It's so important that the children want to retain greenery around because aesthetically it's just so beautiful to have the tiniest forest on our grounds. Spending time in nature has a positive impact on our health and well-being. However, these little woodlands are not only important for our own health but they are also critical habitats for the health of our planet.